What's up guys? Today we got a really cool video. We got a brand spanking new product from Astro Tools. It's the 100SL wireless charging 1000 lumen light. Unbox it, test it, abuse it, find out where its weaknesses is. And today you guys are gonna get to take that trip with us. So let's do it. This is a video that I normally don't do. I never abuse tools. I don't ever really try to tear up tools, but today is going to be an exception because this tool is supposed to be extremely, extremely strong. And it is the 100 SL light from Astro Tools. It is the wireless charging light that will work on the wireless charging base, just like the 5.2 SL. And if you guys have watched my channel for any length of time at all, you know that is one of my favorite lights. So this one, looking forward to it. Now the 5.2 SL is extremely strong. It, we've dropped it hundreds of times here in the shop with no issues. But today we're going to find out if the 100 SL is as strong and we're gonna see how it does with brake cleaner. Fair warning, if you do not like tool abuse, turn this video off now because this one is fixing to meet its demise more than likely. We'll see. So let's get this thing unboxed. I'll show you all the cool features and function that it's got and we'll put it to the test. We'll put it to the test. So let's get this thing opened. This is my first look at it. So you guys will get to see it when I do. We'll start with the box. And it has an adjustable output of 100 to 1000 lumens, a USB-C type, USB type charging port. And it also works with the wireless charger. A massive 21700 cell lithium battery. Um, it has 4,500 milliamps capacity for three to 18 hours of use. So let's check it out. Here's the light itself. Comes with a USB-C charging cable and the actual charger that plugs in the wall. So let's take a look at the light. I'm excited about this light because I've been waiting on it to come out. I love the 5.2 SL. So I think this light is going to be an awesome addition. Comes with a protective cover over the clear lens. We sure don't want that on here for the test. You can see on the end, here is the charging plug for the USB-C. It's got a power button right next to it. Very nice, hefty feeling light. You can see on the back, it's got the notations for the magnet and the wireless charger. It's got an adjustable arm with a magnet on it. Very strong magnet, may I add. So you can see it's sitting up off of the toolbox. Let's see if it'll support its own weight. Definitely. Even with half the magnet on the box. Does very well. Strong magnet. So let's take a look at how it works. One press of the button cuts it on. Extremely bright light. So we'll put it on. That's as low as it'll go. It flashed, for, so that's 100 lumens. Push and hold again. That's as bright as it'll go. Notated by the flash, 1,000 lumens. Extremely bright light. Like I say, it's got some weight to it. It feels good in your hand. It's got nice rubber grips on it. 
pretty cool light. We'll go out here and we'll stick it on the charging base and make sure that it charges like it's supposed to with the wireless charging. I love the wireless charging light. Like I say, the 5.2 SL is hands down my favorite light of all the lights that I have. And you guys that's watched my channel for quite a while, you know that I'm a light junkie. I have a ton, ton, ton of lights and I'm always looking for something a little better. Seems like the older I get, the worse I see. Lights are my handicap to keep me in the game. But I definitely like this light a lot, it feels good. We'll check it out, make sure it's gonna charge. Um, I do have the wireless charging base with two 5.2 SLs on it, and that way you use one while one's charging. So this one's going to come in super handy to be able to throw on there as well. That way you have sort of a broader spectrum work light, as you can see, the light that it puts out. Um, I like it. The magnet seems to be very strong. It's not got any, like the connections are pretty tight on the leg, as you can see. I'm trying to twist it. it has no wiggle to it. Feels like a good light, but we're going to go out here. We're going to drop it a few times from like lift height. Um, see how the handles drops. We're going to drop it a few times from like the roll cart height. And then um, we'll give it a bath and brake cleaner. See if it cloudies up the lens and see if it hurts the rubber. We'll douse it down pretty good, try it out. Uh, and then we'll just see what kind of abuse it can take. And hopefully it stands up. If it don't, it don't. We'll see. So you guys, come on. Just drop it straight down. All right, so we all know if you use lights in a shop, like this one, you can see it's pretty tough. It passed several drop tests from a good bit up. But the real test is, can it stay in brake cleaner? And I don't know, we're gonna turn it on. And uh, since brother Kevin's good at doing baptisms, I thought we'd let him baptize it. Show everybody it's brake cleaner first. You can see it's CRC brake clean. All right, let her have some, see if she likes it. I ain't never sprayed my life that much of blood mm -mm. cleaner, have you? Mm -mm. Now then, I need to dry it off a couple times. Dry it off a few times. Is it dry tough. yet? It's pretty tough. If it ain't, it ain't gonna get dry. <laughs> That's pretty tough. Let's bring it over here and see what it's done to the rubber on it. I still got the camera rolling. Okay. You like to cut it off. Well, it's uh didn't hurt the rubber. 
I didn't make the glass frosty and uh, still works. So pretty tough light. We might have to go outside where we can really test this thing out and just see how tough it is. All right, so I don't have a mic on. I know it's going to be extremely loud out here because of the bus shop, but I'm going to take this out here and we're going to turn it on. We'll throw it up in the air a few times. And obviously, what we've done is already abused it by dropping it that many times from normal working heights that we would see as an everyday in the shop. But we're going to push it to the limit. Might as well, right? So you guys can see it all. All right, guys, so you see the light held up extremely well. It's a super tough light. I mean, what we did to that light is total abuse. Um, there's really no reason for anybody to ever treat their equipment that way. But we just kind of did that to show you that it is a tough light and it should hold up to everyday shop use. And that way you guys don't have to worry about using your light. I mean, if you knock it off a lift, it's not going to hurt it. If you drop it you know, off your toolbox, it's not going to hurt it. If you forget and leave it on the bedside of a truck and you raise the bedside of the truck up to normal working height on the lift and it falls off, you know the light's still going to function and work properly. So you don't have to be scared to use that light. Astro makes some good stuff. They all come with a one-year warranty. Obviously, if you treat them like I just did, it's not going to have a warranty on it. But don't abuse your tools, but you can see they'll definitely stand up to the everyday wear and tear that you may put on them. So don't be scared of these lights at all. If you don't have the wireless charging system that Astro has, I highly encourage you to get one. Um, as you've seen when we put this light on the charger, the 5.2 SL light, they get used every day. Like we abuse those lights just like we do these. Obviously we're not throwing them in the air. Like we're playing catch with somebody on the roof, but they do get used every day. They're extremely tough lights. They hold up really well. I'm very pleased with them. You buy two of those, you can swap them out. You always got a light handy. Put one of these in the rotation with it. And you've got pretty much all your lighting needs covered. The wireless charging is really good. That way you can just stick it on there. You don't have to fool with a cord. You put it on there, it goes to charging while you're doing your thing. It's doing its thing. You go to lunch, throw it on the charger. These lights are extremely nice. But anyway, guys, that's the video today. Check these 100. SL lights out by Astro. Pick you up a 5.2 SL to go with it and you've got yourself one hell of a light combo. Wireless charging pad and the best part about it, it can all do it affordably and you don't have to break the bank. It's definitely not the tool truck prices that we're used to. Quality lights, great prices, you can't beat it. Like always guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. Hate we had to abuse some tools like we did today, but hopefully you see how tough a quality Astro makes with their lights. But anyway, guys, like always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over there for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes is down here. If you're not subscribed, all you have to do is press that button. You'll be in. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a great one. Catch you later.